we're going to do a quick tutorial um, how to get these really fun um, texts by Fukidashi or their Twitter by Tsuko111D0ME. They don't provide you any information on how to properly use it. Their video can be a little bit confusing if you're not entirely certain what to look for. I will give credit to one person though when you view the view quote retweets, but Sophie K actually gave a really good advice, and that is that you need to use the URL from your actual chat. This means using your pop-out chat. So let's say you're using Twitch or you're using YouTube. You want to have you as a streamer, your chat to be popped out, which means that you're going to need to grab the URL for it. You're not going to do this through your OBS, doc, or your stream manager. You need to grab it from a very specific link. And that is by Streamer Square, where they show you exactly what you need to type in your browser source. So when I go back to OBS, you're gonna wanna copy this e this specific link here. This was done by Lauco. I should mention that. So you're gonna wanna copy this link specifically into your browser source. I already have it set up here. I'm shaking it a little. So to do this, I'm going to create a new one. We're going to do CSS2, version 2. Afterwards, once we have that information, it's just going to show up like a whole lot of nothing, right? There's still going to be a sea of endless. What we need to do now is we need to change this to that URL that I showed you. And we're going to paste that in. Perfect. Change it to whatever name you have, or you can use whatever. If your name is Bob, just use whatever. Now, in the custom CSX section, you're going to use Fukidashi's information on this page. What that means is you need to select the correct platform. Let's say you're using Twitch. I'm using Twitch, so I would be using Twitch. If you're using YouTube, you can make a little bit of a decision. You can either have the profile image or you don't have the profile image. You can choose right or left. So if we're doing Twitch, you can even change like whether or not you want the names to show or a border to show. So let's say we're doing Twitch. We want our chat to be green. You can even do some extra adjustments in this screen, but I think we're fine and we can just go right ahead and create. We're going to copy and paste this. I recommend importing the font that they have here by saving it to your desktop. That way it's going to be less of an issue going forward. Afterwards, we're going to copy and paste the CSS code, I mean, right into your custom CSS section. All right, this looks good. I like the width, I like the height. Perfect. Now we're ready to go. All I'm going to do is to make sure that my chat is working properly is I am going to start typing. Once you do so, your chat should hopefully appear on your page now. Hopefully this helps, but I think Knowing this now, it might be a little bit easier for everyone to use this free software.